Hello and a warm welcome back to the channel. Today we've got the Quantum 225 by Digico and we're going to be using the UB MADI port on the back to record directly into Pro Tools. So first of all, let's go down to the Quantum and we'll press setup. Basically, we haven't got a uh, stage direct today. I'm literally just using the local IOs to show how easy it is to set up the record paths. And you'll notice that we've got on one of the devices, we've got the USB port here. So we'll just close that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to copy audio and you'll notice that it's opened up the uh, copy audio screen. So you'll see the USB ports at the very top and then the local inputs down the left hand side. So just for this um, uh, presentation, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to press edit and then I'm going to just route my microphone to the first 16 channels of the, uh, of the UB port. So imagine if we did have a rack here, you'd maybe have a rack down here. Um, you would actually do that sort of um, from one side to the other and route them as you would do on any normal um, stage rack. But because we're just using the local IOs, I'm going to just reassign those there. We're just going to use the 1 to 16 from the same microphone in input. But the principle's the same. Okay, so that's the routing sorted, and you can see my microphone coming into this channel one here. If I just go next to Audio MIDI on my laptop, just to confirm that we're attached to the console, and we are by the UB MADI, just close that, and then we'll go over to Pro Tools. Pro Tools is already booted. Just to confirm, I go to Setup, Playback Engine, and you can see we're attached to the UB MADI Playback Engine. What I'm also going to do, just a, a good practice, is check the I.O., and you can see we've got all the inputs 1 to 48 there, all the outputs 1 to 48 there, and then just press OK. So let's just go to File, Create New. And we're going to call this UB MADI Test. There we go. Just press Create. Oh, you notice that the sample rate is clocked at 48K, which is exactly the same as the console. Uh, press Create. And there it is. The session's created. But now what we need to do is create some tracks. So I can use a little shortcut, which is Shift, Command, and N, or I can just go up to track at the top and press New. Um, I'm going to, as I routed 16, I'm going to create 16 new tracks in there. Now I could name them um, here as one group name, but I'm going to show you later in another video how to actually create your, your channel list from this. But for now, let's just go Create. And there we go. I've created some tracks. I'm just going to press another little shortcut, Command and Equals. And you'll notice that the inputs are all here. And you'll notice that the outputs are out set to output 1 and 2. But if we were actually going to be doing a virtual sound check, you'd want that to be output 1, output 2, etc., etc. So here's a quick shortcut to make that happen really quickly. So if I press Option and Command, go to Output, press 1. And then you'll notice that it concertinas all the way across. So this makes it really, really easy for setting up a recording quickly and also getting your playback quickly. Another quick uh, shortcut I'm going to show you is by pressing Control and Option and then highlighting the record. And as you can see, there are the meters for uh, my one microphone. But as I said, the principle is the same. Okay, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.